These are our top five ways to help your players learn the backhand. All right, coaches, in this drill on how to help your players learn how to backhand the ball properly, you'll see Coach Duke and I are about 10 feet apart from one another. We both have our right knee down because we're right-handed. Our left leg is out on a 45 degree angle and we're gonna position our body so we're low enough that our head is gonna be behind our glove. You'll notice when my arm is out, I have a hinge in my elbow, in my shoulder, and in my wrist. If your players are upright, they're just hinging at their, their shoulder and they're too tall. So we wanna get low enough that there's a bend in our, in our arm, in our wrist, and our elbow, and Coach Duke's gonna roll it to me or toss me a short hop, and I'm gonna work on picking right back through the ball. So these are rolls that are a little easier. Now when we short hop, you'll notice I'm trying to pick back through the short hop. I don't wanna give that, that ball a chance to take a bad hop on me. So again, nice and soft, I wanna go back the same direction that the ball's traveling, my head's behind my glove, and this is a great warm-up drill to get your players trusting that backhand, because once they can do it barehanded, it becomes that much easier with the glove. In this drill on how to work on backhands, these are called ball drops, and we're gonna do this all by ourselves. You can do it with a partner, or you can do it by yourself. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put your weight into your right hip. Your left toe is gonna be up and you're gonna be back into this position so my weight is back. I'm gonna take the ball in my right hand. I'm gonna hold it out in front of me. I'm gonna drop the ball and I'm gonna work through the back end. You can notice I'm using this as an actual buffer to move through the ball. So I'm dropping and working through. After that, what we can do is you can actually work through the ball. So I'm in my position, I'm in my backhand position, my head's staying down, I'm staying behind the baseball, and I'm working through. Notice how my elbow is working in this position. It's not working in this position, to where I'm just trapping the ball. I'm in this position, so that way my body, my glove can stay through the baseball. So that's a really good drill. I'm working on backhands. All right, coaches, in this drill on how to help your players backhand the ball, we're gonna do two different variations of pushing through the short hop, all right? So now, ball's hit to my backhand side. I'm gonna put my, myself in a position to field it. I wanna make sure that on short hops, attack through it or smother the short hop. I don't wanna give with it and take, give it a chance to take a bad hop. So in variation one, Coach Duke's gonna to toss the ball up in the air. I'm gonna beat the ball to the spot. I'm gonna see it and press through that short hop. So again, it's up in the air. I'm trying to time it up with that good left foot timing, taking away any possible bad hop. Variation two, Coach Duke's gonna roll the ball. We've got our fielder's dome mat out. I'm gonna drop step, I'm gonna beat the ball to the spot. If I see that ball take a bad hop off the mat, I then have to attack and get the short one. So I'm gonna drop step back, then I have to attack through the short hop. Again, don't give the ball a chance to take a bad hop on you. That one stayed down. So I beat it there, I had my head behind my glove. As soon as I recognized ball in the air, I attacked through the short one. In this backhand drill, what we're gonna talk about is that ball that forces us back. We're trying to get some depth, we're trying to get behind the ball, and this is a ball that's hit that's almost gonna bounce right about there. So I'm gonna get into my prep step. I recognize the ball going this way and I wanna get depth and try to beat the ball where it's going so I can either field it opened or I'm gonna field it closed. So it's gonna look just like this. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna prep step, Coach Steve's gonna fire the ball and I'm gonna catch it somewhere back there. So you notice how I turned that ball into a long hop. If I would've shot straight across, now it's an in-between hop and I probably miss it. So I'm prep stepping, I see it, the ball's back, I'm fielding the ball and making a throw. So that's another version of the backhand. That's the ball that drop step, we're going back, we're fielding it, and then making a good hard throw to first base. This is another really good backhand drill. We call this the three cone drill. And what we're doing is we're working on the come and get it backhand, we're working on the crossover backhand, and we're working on the drop step backhand. So all your players are gonna do is they're gonna start here and they're just gonna go one, two, three. So the first one's the drop step. So I'm gonna prep step, I'm gonna drop step, and I'm gonna get, gonna get behind the ball. I'm pretending the ball's coming in a straight line. I have the ball, 
my glove, and my eyeballs in a straight line. Now I'm gonna reset. This time I'm gonna prep step, and I'm just gonna cross over and stick this. Same exact thing, ball, glove, eyes, and then I'm gonna work on going through, so I'm gonna prep and just work through. So this is a really good drill to help your players understand these three types of backhanded ball. So again, I prep step and fire back. I prep step and cross. And then I prep step and work through. That's a really good drill. All you have to do to set this up is you're just gonna take one step. You're gonna start, you're gonna cross over, put the cone down. You're gonna shuffle, put the cone down and go across and put the cone down. Those are our top five drills to work on backhands. If you like these videos, make sure you click the subscribe button for some more of the Dominate the Diamond bests.